For the first time, a Ukrainian official admitted attacks on Russia with U.S. weapons. Ukraine attacks Russian territory with Western weapons. As a result of such attacks, missile launchers in the Belgorod region were destroyed. The New York Times writes about this with reference to a Ukrainian official. Kiev took advantage of permission to strike Russia with American weapons almost immediately, striking a military facility on the border with an American-made artillery system. Deputy Chairman of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine Committee on National Security, Defense and Intelligence Igor Chernev said that Ukrainian troops destroyed Russian missile launchers in a strike in the Belgorod region. According to him, the Ukrainian armed forces used HIMARS. It was the first time a Ukrainian official has publicly acknowledged that Ukraine used U.S. weapons to fire at Russia since U.S. President Joe Biden lifted a ban on such strikes. For months, this ban was a red line that the White House did not cross. The United States was allowed to attack Russia, but only in the territory near northeastern Ukraine and for defensive purposes. Chernev said that Ukraine destroyed the S-300 and S-400 missile systems without specifying how many there were. Russia used these systems to bomb Kharkov. Rob Lee, a senior fellow at the Foreign Policy Research Institute and an expert on the Russian military and modern warfare, said the range and accuracy of the attack on the missile launch systems suggested the weapon used was American. Given the range, target type, ammunition availability and changes in Biden administration policy, I think it is likely that this strike was carried out using HIMARS, he said. Military analysts have been monitoring when Ukraine will use American weapons on Russian territory and how it will do it. They say the Ukrainians' new ability to strike in Russia will help slow Moscow's cross-border attacks. Now we can hit Russian troops at the formation stage, which reduces the likelihood of preparing new offensives on other sections of the border, said Mikhail Samus, director of the military research organization Center for Army, Conversion and Disarmament Research. Russia has repeatedly warned Ukraine's Western allies that allowing strikes inside Russia would have serious consequences. Chernev's confirmation that American weapons were used in strikes inside Russia is the only one Ukraine has provided so far, perhaps out of concern about adding fuel to Russian propaganda and stoking even more Russian belligerents. Ukraine is also preparing for a diplomatic initiative in Switzerland to present its plan for resolving the war. First foreign instructor for use of F-16 arrived in Ukraine. The first foreign instructor in the operational use of F-16 fighters has already arrived in Ukraine, which should soon be handed over to partner countries. This is the first flight officer of the Greek Air Force, writes the Greek publication Defense Point. The Greek Air Force has gained vast experience and expertise in the operational use of the fighter in air-to-air -air missions, especially in close air combat, the Greek publication reported. On the 21st of August 2023, the President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, while visiting Athens after his meeting with the Greek Prime Minister, Konstantinos Mitsotakis, announced the accession of Greece to the coalition. Today, we have an important result for the air coalition. Greece will participate in the training of our F-16 pilots, Zelensky stated. Journalists assume that the arrival of the Greek pilot in the Ukrainian capital is part of the F-16 training coalition initiative, an international coalition established on July the 13th, 2023, at the NATO summit in Vilnius to train Ukrainian pilots and technical personnel to operate this type of fighter aircraft. Last fall, Denmark, Norway and the Netherlands committed to supplying Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets starting in 2025. Currently, the total number of pledged F-16s is about 80. Kyiv has been urgently requesting more advanced jets to strengthen its air force against Russia's larger and more technologically advanced fleet. At the same time, some Ukrainian allies, including the US, impose restrictions on the weapons they supply, stipulating that they must only be used within Ukraine and not for targeting Russian territory. Recently, the first Ukrainian pilots have completed F-16 fighter jet training at a military base in Arizona, with others soon to follow this summer. The first batch has graduated and other Ukrainian pilots are finishing their training here by the end of August. Arizona National Guard spokesperson Erin Hannigan told. Last month, Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo said his country's promised jets would be delivered to Kyiv by the end of the year. <laughs>